First of all, I have so much experience I can share with people, you know, and I think I'm doing right, and right now this is just beginning. Uh, I remember myself, like, I find myself on the mats, you know, when I was like three, four years old. Like, a beginning work on mats, all my life I was training, I was training very hard. I was in my amateur, then 13 years, I was a professional, you know. Before UFC I was fighting, inside the UFC I was fighting 10 years, you know. All my life I was training so hard, you know. And now I think time to enjoy. I can live, I can live for myself. I can do whatever I want in the world. I can buy any house in the world. But this is don't give me good energy. This is like, this is not who I am. This is not what my father teach me. All my hard works pay off, you know. And because I, all my life I was uh, hard, uh, work so hard, not only like like professional athlete, like all my life. You know, I am from very poor life. You know, I'm very, I'm from very poor life. I remember like 23 years, 23 years ago, how my father sell sell his house, and he bring me all my um, my brothers. We moved to capital city because in village is not too much opportunity. We moved to capital city, and we all living together in one house, and stay there, eat, training, sleep, repeat, go to the school, someone go college, university. It was like army life, you know. And I'm very happy, you know, like. And, uh, and now I realize how father, how his vision was very far because uh, he invests people, he invests us, he invests me, my brothers, my close people, he invests, he, he invests like thousands and thousands of kids in Dagestan, you know, and I'm very happy to be here. And I'm very happy about this because like I remember like 10 years ago, my mind was completely different. Oh, I'm going to become champion, I'm going to become rich, I'm going to buy everything. But ev like everything what happened last two years, uh, this has changed my mind and uh, changed uh, the way how I was thinking. Parents, it was like biggest part of my life, the biggest part of my success. We know that this is how I grew up, where I grew up, very traditional religion, family, and uh, I'm very happy for this because I didn't know like if without my faith, without my religion, understanding how I'm gonna handle this what happened like two years ago when I lose, when my father passed away you know it's like but like religion teach me like how you have to handle this but who teach me religion who give me this way it was my parents and you know it's like I don't think I like ever I can be thankful uh, for this reason to my parents but all my life I never gonna forget what they did for me you know you know, I remember when I was talking with my father, maybe it's like, maybe I'm gonna, maybe, maybe I should like retire, what do you think, like, because I'm tired again, 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 surgery, surgery, you know, and he say like, uh, if you wanna give up, you can give up, this is your choice, you can do whatever you want, but how you gonna give up, like, so many years we were working together, like, and you, like, only 26 years old. I remember myself when I was 26 and 33. This is too different. You know, like my prime time, it was 32, 33. Your time's gonna come, but you cannot give up, you know. And this gave me like crazy motivation. I never give up. I never even remember I give up in training, have or like an amateur career, professional career, in the gym, never in my life. A lot of people ask me, you proud of something? I'm very proud of, I never give up. You have to stay focused every single moment, if you're a professional athlete. Or leave this alone, or leave this alone. Don't come like 50-50, it -50, doesn't work on this game. Because if I want to become champion, doesn't matter who, you want to become world champion, you want to call yourself world champ. Who cares who's going to be your opponent? Oh, sit home, enjoy with your life. But if you want to step in the, it's not the octagon, and you want to become world champion, it doesn't matter who's your opponent. I remember in way in, I told her, okay, bring King Kong. If he can make 155, I'm going to fight with him. When you have motivation, when you're hungry, 
you can you can you can you can catch all work you know? it's like no limits even sky it's no limit you need like you need you have to be hungry like the gym, like my brothers, like my sparring partners, but if you're not hungry, it's like you don't have to be this sport. Because this sport is very hard. If you're not hungry, someone's gonna come and take you off. They take off your head. You know? It's like very simple. Like you cannot miss even like this whole very very small things. Like some people think, oh I'm tired, I'm today tired, tomorrow I'm gonna train, but you have to understand somewhere around the world, maybe in like different part, part of all. Someone gonna train today to meet with you after a couple of years. And he follows same goal like you, you know. You have to know one day he's gonna come and he's gonna take everything what you want. That's why. A lot of people, a lot of people underestimate one thing. When they become famous, when they become rich, when they become success, they all beginning to talk about, oh, you know, this is because of my mindset, this is because of I work hard, this is because my business mind is very smart, you know, I'm a very strong guy, I can handle anything in the world, you know, that's why I become, like, very successful, you know, for example, they all talk, of, talk about this, but what about other millions and millions of people around the world who work so hard? but they don't have this position, what I have. It's mean, this is test from God, He give you this. He wanna test you, how you gonna handle this. You know? And uh, don't make this mistake, guys. Everything come from God, you know. Right now I'm trying to invest people, invest my close people, because this is best investment, you know. What you, what you can give to people around you, your kids, your friends, your neighbors, your friends, like, your people around you, like uh, how people gonna remind you. This is about this. Doesn't matter even if you live like two years, 57 years, 33 years, doesn't matter. You, know? you just have to be good human, you know. And, uh, and that's it. And one day, like for example, my grandfather died 84 when he was 84, one of them. Mm, my father 57. And I'm 30, 33 years old and we don't know when it's gonna be our last day. You guys gonna see me like a lot next couple years. I'm not gonna let you guys miss me, you know. I'm gonna be there very close to very close to cage and you know screaming on someone. You guys gonna see me. You guys gonna see me a couple more years inshallah.